and welcome to a live story time with Miss Carrera and our friend Eddie. The book Eddie chose today needs your help. Let's get our wiggles out so we can start reading. One, two, three. I wiggle my fingers and I wiggle my toes. I wiggle my ears and I wiggle my nose. Now there are no more wiggles in me. I can sit as quiet as can be. Today's story is called... There's a bear in your book. You might remember there's a monster in your book. So it's very similar. But we've got a sleepy bear. So our author is Tom Fletcher. Here's our book Spine. And on the back cover it says, Shh, there's a sleepy little bear in your book. Can you help the bear get ready for bed? So we're going to need your help. Let's start. There's a bear in your book. Goodness me! It looks as though somebody has had a big picnic in your book. Who could it be? It's a bear. A very full up bear. A very full up and very tired bear. This is a bear that needs a good sleep. Shall we help bear get ready for bed? First, bear needs a bath. And for a bath, you need lots of bubbles. Wow, that's a lot of bubble bath, bear. Let's give the book a good shake to make it super duper bubbly. Then turn the page. What a lot of bubbles! There must be a very clean bear under there. Pop the bubbles, then turn the page. Well done! Bear is nice and clean. But your book is very wet and so is bear. What's the best way to dry a soggy bear? I know! Flap the book like a fan. Then turn the page. Whoosh! Well, that certainly got Bear dry. Now turn the page to get Bear settled down and snuggled into bed. Shh! Look, Bear's all snuggled up. Gently rock the book side to side to lull Bear to sleep. Bear is getting more and more sleepy. I'm sure Bear will be asleep by the time you turn the page. Boo! Oh no, a cheeky little monster has woken Bear up. Naughty! Show monster how cross you are. Wag your finger at him and turn the page. Oh, monster looks sorry. How about we let him stay in your book? As long as he helps Bear to get to sleep. Let's make everything comfortable for them. Can you imagine some soft pillows and a nice big nightlight? Are you imagining? Good. Now turn the page. Great imagining! Now let's make your book even more cosy. Press the switch to turn on Bear's nightlight. Then turn the page. That's better. Your book feels much more cosy now. And look, Monster and Bear are settling down for bed. Now do a big yawn. I bet that will make Monster and Bear yawn too. Great! Monster and Bear are yawning, but they're not quite asleep. Hmm, a really good way to get to sleep is to count sheep. Can you imagine five sheep for them to count? One, two, three, four, five. It worked! 
monster and bear are both asleep. But now, there are all these sheep in your book. Can you help them fall asleep too? Let's sing them a lullaby. Twinkle, twinkle, little sheep. Time for you to go to sleep. Shh, great work. Now everyone's asleep. Or oh, nearly everyone. Close the book quickly before someone makes a noise. Sleep tight. I hope that sheep doesn't wake them. Thank you for your help. I think it might be your bedtime too. We're going to go to sleep soon. Sleep well. See you next time. Bye. Sweet dreams.